hello everyone hope you guys are doing well in today's video i will be answering 10 of the most frequently asked questions regarding the upcoming online batch this batch will be for may june 2023 and as always if you're new to the channels please subscribe and make sure to like this video and share it with your friends so without any further delay let's get straight into it so i will be teaching math o level and igcse and same goes for ad math o level and igcse the syllabus codes for which you should be able to see on the screen along with that i will also be teaching as math the components however will be p1 m1 and s1 classes will inshallah start in the first week of august now the reason for starting in august and not starting in july is because most of you guys may be traveling in july and uh, i think i personally think july is too soon you know it's still in the summer break mode and uh, the benefit of starting in august is that schools also start in august so you know you're in that mode of uh, you're all geared up for it so that is why i always start my session in august rather than in july Yes, these classes are paid and if you want to know more about the charges or if you want to know more about how you can pay then you can use the link that's provided in the description or you can message me directly on Instagram to do that. You can book your seat by simply paying for the month of August since I don't have any I don't keep any registration charges or anything like that then your you the booking of your seat will be done once you pay for the month of August. Yes, you can literally join from anywhere in the world, doesn't matter whether you're in UAE, UK, Saudi Arabia, Bangladesh, India, you can join from wherever you want. Over the past couple of years, I've had students from all around the world, the countries, especially particularly the countries that I've just mentioned. So you can absolutely join from anywhere you are. You just need to make sure that you have an internet connection and a Zoom installed on your laptop, phone, tablet, whatever it is that you're going to be using. This is one question that I get asked a lot and uh, the answer is there is there is no such thing as the end date of this course or this session because towards the end obviously when you guys will be practicing past papers you'll have a lot of queries which you would want me to answer so you know that's something that we're doing towards the end so initially we start off at three classes per week and then I gradually take it up to five from January February onwards and then towards the end we're having classes seven days a week in fact sometimes we're having classes twice a day uh just so that we can get more and more done so the reason why i don't have uh, five classes or seven classes or more than three classes from the beginning is because i want to keep things light in the beginning you know we want to cover the basics first make sure that you have a good understanding of the basics and then the difficult paper two topics i like to keep them okay. from january onwards just so that the time in between your exams and and when we do the topic is minimized so that you know you don't you're not likely to forget those topics so that's the reason that's the rationale behind doing that uh no no past papers no, i'm just kidding of course we'll be doing past papers so uh there's no magic number as to how many years of past papers i'm going to be doing uh my target is always 5 years inclusive of variants and past papers are something that we're going to be doing in two segments so once of course once we're done with the topic so if you finish the topic then of course we'll be discussing past paper questions and then uh what i like to do is that once we're done with like 50% of the course and i like to you know uh, throw in a past paper so that uh, we can revise everything that we have done rather than waiting for the entire syllabus to be completed and then doing past papers so you know i don't like doing that so like i said you know you you can say that there are there are past papers are done in 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 two different ways you know as i mentioned topical after every topic and yearly once we're done with the syllabus but also yearly once we're done with like 50% of the syllabus so yeah i hope that answers that question it's completely all right given that your reason is valid uh you know could be a clash could be electricity issue internet issue so that's completely all right but if you happen to miss classes consistently then after a certain period of time you know you'll just be wasting your money so i might just ask you to withdraw yourself from the course absolutely not soft copies of all the books that i'm going to be using all my notes past papers everything basically that i'm going to be using will be provided to you one thing that i will recommend is that once you're doing past papers i normally like to encourage my students to get them printed out and then do it on on the physical papers so that you get used to the way you will be solving it in the actual exam so that's something that i recommend okay it's just a recommendation obviously you can do it uh you can have the question paper in front of you and you can do it on a separate notebook that's completely fine by me Uh so yeah you don't really have to buy books 
Yes, homework will be uploaded and graded on Google Classroom. So make sure that you have that installed. And again, if you consistently fail to submit the homework without a valid reason, then I'm afraid you're going to be have to you're going to be asked to withdraw from the course. The experience of studying online is completely different uh, from watching videos. Okay, watching videos is just one way communication. Okay? So the benefit of uh, studying online or st or attending a live session is that you get to directly interact with me. So if there's something you don't understand or if there's something that you feel that I haven't elaborated on as much as you would want, so you can stop me there and then and ask me to do that and I'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, these are the benefits that you don't get while watching a video. And uh, it's not just that, the whole experience is enriching. You know, you get to interact with students uh, from all around the country and even you know, all around the world, basically. So, you know, uh, the whole the whole experience is nothing as compared to watching videos online. So there you go. These were the 10 of the most frequently asked questions. And if you still feel there's something that I haven't answered or you still feel there's something that I haven't elaborated on, then do reach out to me in the comment section or you can reach out to me directly on Instagram. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.